the Indian Air Force as one of the best combat helicopters in the world. India has a formidable Mi-24 from Russia and the Apache AH-64 from the United States. Even though both these helicopters are best in its category, they are both useless when it comes to high-altitude warfare, which India encounters in the Himalayas. As there was no helicopter in the world to meet the special requirement of the Indian Air Force, India embarked on creating its own combat helicopter, the Prachand. In the 1999 Kargil War, Pakistani militants and regulars occupied the cold mountain tops of Kargil and adjacent peaks. These mountain peaks were at an average altitude of 13,000 feet and above. The Indian Air Force started off with a MiG-21 and MiG-27. These heavy bombings were deadly but not accurate. The fast-moving fighter jets were not accurately taking out the targets. The Indian Air Force would now want to deploy the slow-moving combat helicopters for the bombing mission. But the IF soon realized that their main combat helicopter, the Mi-24, is not suitable for the role due to the thin atmosphere in the mountain peaks. The Mi-24, also called the flying tank, was just too heavy. So the IF modified their main transport helicopter, the Mi-17, to carry missile pods. But in the ensuing raid on Tiger Hill involving four Mi-17s, one of the Mi-17 was shot down by a Pakistani Stinger manpad. Four servicemen lost their lives. After this incident, the IAF and the Indian Army realized that a combat helicopter specially designed for the high-altitude warfare needs to be procured. The Indian Army is also operating at the world's highest battlefield, the Siachen. Located at more than 16,000 feet, no attack helicopters has even landed in this icy desert. After the Kargil War, India soon scouted for a new combat helicopter. But much to their surprise, there were no combat helicopters in the world tailor-made for high-altitude warfare. This was the moment when India decided to manufacture their own combat helicopter, the one that would meet all its requirements. The state-owned HAL proposed a plan to the Ministry of Defense to modify their existing transport helicopter, the HAL Dhru, to a new combat helicopter. This would save a great deal of cost. The Ministry of Defense gave the green light and the HAL created the Light Combat Helicopter Program. The program was funded by the Ministry of Defense. The prospect for the LCH was very high as the Indian Army looked forward to buy 114 of the units and the IF some 65 units. The work on the LCH progressed at a steady pace and on 29 March 2010, the first prototype of the LCH took to the sky at Hal's helicopter complex at Bengaluru. The performance was satisfactory. The development continued for another four years and by the end of 2014, the LCH was ready for testing. The LCH was taken to the Leh Air Force Station in the Himalayas for cold weather trials. Here the helicopter was left overnight at minus 18 degrees Celsius without any special covering. Then engine startup tests were performed. Several other tests like high altitude performance at an altitude of 13,000 feet and low speed handling was performed. The LCH not only performed well on testing, it started making records like becoming the first attack helicopter to land in the CHN, the world's highest battlefield. The LCH was then taken to Jodhpur in Rajasthan for hot weather trials. The helicopter was exposed to temperatures ranging from 39 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius. The LCH was tested for low speed handling, high velocity differential, different load handling, etc. After basic testing, the LCH was tested with multiple mission sensors such as electro-optical system, helmet pointing system, etc. Then weapons testing was done with various armaments like air-to-air -air missiles, turret guns, rockets, etc. On successful completion of all the tests, the LCH was formally inaugurated for full-scale production on 26 August 2017 by the then Defence Minister Arun Jaitley. The LCH was formally renamed the Prachand. Even though the design of the Prachand is indigenous, the engine, radar and weapon systems had to be imported. The Prachand has a length of 5.8 meters, the width of 4.6 meters and a height of 4.7 meters. Its empty weight is 2.2 tons 
and the maximum takeoff weight is 5.8 tons. This shows the Prachan is way smaller in size and capacity compared to the Apache AH-64. The Prachan is powered by two engines jointly made by HAL and Turbomeca of France. The engine generates 1384 horsepower of thrust each. The Prachan's maximum service ceiling is 6500 meters. While this might not look like much of a difference to the Apache, but the Prachan's sleek build makes it way more maneuverable at high altitudes compared to the Apache. This is exactly what the Indian Army and the Air Force needed. A light, highly maneuverable aircraft with adequate firepower. At just 16 million US dollars or rupees 135 crores, the LCH was way cheaper than the Apache whose latest version cost 52 million US dollars or rupees 433 crores. While the Apache is a bigger helicopter with a state-of-art avionics and radar, the Prachand is a king of high-altitude warfare. In July 2024, the Ministry of Defense placed one of the biggest defense orders for indigenous weapons. The government ordered 156 units of the Prachand from HAL, 90 for the Indian Army and 66 for the Indian Air Force. The Prachand demonstrates India's strong resolve to move from being a net weapons importer to net weapons exporter. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.